There are certain subjects you don't talk about in polite society, and tonight I'd like to talk about one of those. One of the great games played in every household in America is trying to be the one who doesn't have to put a new roll of toilet paper on the roller. The trick, of course, is to leave just a little so the next person will have to do it. If it seems to you that rolls of paper of every kind aren't lasting as long as they used to, it isn't your imagination. Last year, in a report I did on how much of their product manufacturers put into a box, a can, a bag, or a roll, I expressed a wish. I wish I had a box of Kleenex from 20 years ago, or any box of paper tissues, or some rolls of towels. I'd like to see how much smaller they've gotten. Well, I didn't get any old boxes of Kleenex, lucky for Kleenex, but people did send me a lot of rolls of paper that they bought 10 or 20 years ago. Here's a roll of paper towel, Bounty. This is the old one, it says new, but that was in 1976. 85 square feet, 100 sheets, 50 cents. Here's the new one, 60 square feet, 72 sheets, on sale for 99 cents. Charmin has been very busy redesigning its package over the years. Kid looks the same age as he used to, but there's a lot less paper in the package. The first one we have had 365 square feet, 650 sheets. A few years later, 281 square feet, 500 sheets, 76 cents. Next, 275 square feet, $1.19. 154 square feet, $1.59. The last one we have, Charmin Ultra, is 93.5 square feet. White Cloud. First one we have had 210 square feet, then 165 then 137 square feet, and the last one we have is 126 square feet. I'm sure there'll be a new and improved version out very shortly with 97 square feet. One of the things about life we've all learned to depend on is this. Whatever you buy, you can be sure it'll be smaller, more expensive, and probably not as good as the last time you bought it. I'm Steve Croft. We'll be back next week with another edition of 60 Minutes.